the precision rifle market is one of the fastest growing segments of the firearm world. With the boom in PRS competitions and a fascination with super long range shooting, what was once the realm of gun nerds has gained a huge following. There was a time when a long range precision rifle was defined as just about any heavyish gun chambered for the 308 Winchester or the 300 Winchester Magnum. While those cartridges remain popular for going long, the rifles made for the job look very different. Today's shooters demand a host of special features that were custom only options just a few years ago. From stock adjustability and threaded muzzles to carbon fiber ramp barrels and even AR styled handguards. Though for most tasks, almost any rifle will do, when you're shooting over long distances, you need a rifle designed for the purpose. But it's not uncommon for high-end guns in this arena to come with $5,000 price tags. Thankfully, several manufacturers are now offering long-range rifles that offer plenty of features without going too far into or beyond the $2,000 range. These handguns are well within the reach of most shooters. Since there are so many different options available, we scoured hundreds of customer reviews to find the best precision rifle on the market. Every shooter is different, and this list of long-range rifles offers a wide spectrum of choices. Whether you're looking to go long in the field or to improve your score in a PRS match, there's a rifle on this list that has everything you demand. Let's take a closer look at a few of the best that have more recently come to the market. I'm going to talk today about the Sarko TRG M10 sniper rifle and the Steiner M5XI 5x25x56 sniper scope. The rifle in front of me has been purposely designed as a professional sniper rifle. It's been designed from the ground up to be used by professional snipers. It's a multi caliber system that can be chambered in 308, 300 Win Mag, or 338 Lapua Magnum. The way it's determined uh, what uh, calibre is on the rifle at any one time is by a ring system located on the bolt, the magazine and on the barrel. The rifle in front of me is chambered in 300 Win Mag and that's indicated by the two rings on the bolt, two circles on the magazine and two rings on the barrel. For 308 it's a single ring and for 338 Lapua Magnum it's three rings. I'm just going to start at the back of the rifle and move forward to the muzzle and uh, explain the features briefly. First of all, the butt group. The butt is infinitely adjustable uh, to suit a user's requirements. First of all, length of pull is adjusted by pushing a lever and then pushing forward to the desired length. Cheek piece, once again, uh, by pushing the button, it raises up on a spring and then can be aligned uh, so that the shooter's eye is, is perfectly aligned with the scope. The butt plate can also be raised or lowered to suit the shooting position. What this provides for is shooting either from a prone position, kneeling position or standing position over barrier. The shooter always has optimised uh, the, the shooting position of the rifle to his shoulder and eye. You can also see a monopod on the rifle. It can be pulled down and set uh, so that the butt is raised or it can then be fine adjusted or packed away. This version of the M10 is a folding stock version. By pushing the button to the rear of the bolt, the stock rotates around to the right. The pistol grip comes in three different sizes on the back strap, a small, medium and large, and is easily exchanged by loosening a screw at the base of the pistol grip and removing the back strap. The trigger on the TRG is fully adjustable between 1.2 and 2.2 kilograms. If required, it's also easily removed using the Sarko uh, T-handle Torx wrench. The magazine is the same external dimensions for all three calibers with just a block in the back with the 300 Win Mag and the 308. The 308 accepts 10 shells, the 300 Win Mag accepts 7 and the 338 Lapua accepts 8. The forend on the rifle uh, comes in two different lengths. This is a long forend, a short forend is also available. Uh, there is a fixed rail on the bottom and the rifle is supplied with small Picatinny blocks that can be uh, arranged by the user in the position they want. Moving to the barrel, uh, the muzzle on all the, the barrels is uh, threaded with an M18 by one thread and can either be fitted with a Sarko muzzle brake or a brake to the user's preference. Depending on the calibre that you're using, there are multiple barrel length options. So for example, through throughout Win Mag comes with a 27 inch barrel, a 23 inch barrel and a 20 inch barrel. Or if you want a 308 with a short barrel, you can go as short as 16 inches up to 26 inches. 
The rifle itself can easily be taken down by the user by loosening uh, these two screws, removing the forend and the barrel. Uh, this screw and this screw allow the buttstock to be removed and, and components replaced and repaired as required. The rail on top of the, the rifle is 30 MOA on this particular version, but it's also available with a 0 MOA or a 45 MOA depression angle rail. I'm here to introduce the new Delta 5 Pro. This rifle is really meant to give you every advantage you can get from a custom rifle builder, but at that production price standpoint. So the MSRP of this rifle is going to be $24.99.99. So it squeaks in underneath that $2,500 limit set by the PRS. Uh, but this is not just gonna be for the PRS competitive shooter. It's gonna be for anybody that wants to squeeze every bit of efficiency out of their rifle as possible. First and foremost, this rifle's coming standard with a half minute of angle guaranteed. So the rifle can do it, now it's just up to you. So some of the custom features we've added to this gun, right from the factory, give you a Area 419 Hellfire three port brake. A uh, great muzzle brake that's gonna keep that recoil as well as muzzle rise down to keep you on target. Underneath the muzzle brake, it's gonna be threaded 5 8 24 on the barrel. That way, if you wanna swap it out to a, a suppressor, you can. The barrel itself is still the cold hammer forged barrel where we forge the contour, the bore, and the chamber at the same time, resulting in an extremely concentric barrel that's extremely accurate. Uh, moving more towards the rear, we have our rail system. This has a couple unique features. Starting off, it has uh, one of the first production Area 419 integrated ARCA lock systems. This is compatible with any really right stuff ARCA dovetail accessory. Uh, moving to the, the side, you have plenty of M-lock slots for other accessories as well as M-lock on our front bridge. Whether you want to run thermals or night vision, you've got plenty of options up here. Moving further to the rear, we have our scallop in the top of our rail. This is, as you can see, allows our objective lens to be really low, minimizes our side over bore measurement, which can result in errors at really long distance if it's not exact. Uh, moving more towards the rear, the front of the chassis base, you do have a barrier stop to protect your magazine from causing any potential misfeeds from jamming that mag uh, to the rear. Speaking of the magazine, it's gonna come with a Magpul AICS 10 rounder this time, keep you on the gun a little bit longer. Same great Delta 5 three lug action, and it's gonna come with the Timney Hunter Elite Trigger. Moving to the rear of the chassis base, uh, we have what we call a thumb stop. Some people refer to it as a gas pedal, but it basically allows your thumb to have a resting spot on the chassis. Whether you wanna shoot it strong side or weak side, uh, these are not only adjustable for forward and back, but also left or right, so you can run it on either side of the rifle. On the, the very back of the chassis base is our attachment method for our grip. So it's an AR-15 compatible grip system. It comes with our DDM4 overmolded grip. Very comfortable grip, but we know that grips are real personable to people, so we wanted to make sure you could change it out to something if you have a different shooting style, wanted something more angled or more vertical, that's your little place where you can personalize your rifle. Moving on to the buttstock frame, we've kept the adjustability in the cheek piece for waterline up and down, as well as drifting left, right, and toe in and toe out making sure that we have a nice line of contact on our cheek instead of a point. Uh, the only thing we've added on this one is there's a spring that lets you set the height so you do not have to manually hold the cheek riser in place when you're setting your cheek height and getting that right eye relief behind the glass. Coming back to our length of pull system, we have two friction knobs as well as a thumb wheel that'll allow you to run that length of pull in or out to get that right fit on the rifle. And then our length of pull system also has a height adjustment on the actual butt pad that is watermarked on the left side of the rifle so you can reset it if you have to change it for another shooter or you're changing it to clean the rifle. As well as this butt pad also has adjustments for cant uh, in or out. So in addition to this great chassis we've designed for the Delta 5 Pro, we've also provided a new contour that you can choose. It's a, a what we're calling a varmint. It's gonna be nine, 10 at the muzzle, so just under an inch at the, at the shoulder. It's a very heavy profile, a little bit larger than our 750 at the muzzle for our H Palma. This barrel's a little bit more rigid, as well as it soaks up a, a lot more heat than the, uh, the H Palma can take. Basically lets you stay on that gun a little bit longer without any thermal drift. It's an extremely accurate barrel. Uh, the varmint contours are gonna come in 26 inches and available in 6.5 Creedmoor as well as 6 Creedmoor. So whether you're just now starting to think about getting into long range shooting, or if you've been shooting for some time and just looking for that next piece of kit to step up your game to the next level, 
this is the solution for you. The Delta 5 Pro brings all of the features and all the accuracy of those high-end custom rifles, but it brings it to you at a production price point. I'm going to talk to you guys today about the Tika TAC A1. It is a superbly accurate long range of precision rifle and I'm going to tell you why. So first of all you've got classic Tika action, the heart of it is the amazing Seiko barrel, you've got a modular chassis which is AR15 compatible, you've got an option of fixed or folding stock as per this model here, full length Picatinny rail and elongated forend, you've got super silky smooth bolt which is teflon coated and adjustable cheek piece adjustable recoil pad height comes from factory with a muzzle brake as well another cool thing about this rifle which is highly underrated is the pistol grip itself it's coated with a soft touch grip so it's a really grippy pad we also have a very important feature of the tac a1 which is the dual stage trigger this is a trigger that's found on the M10 and the TRG in slightly different variations. But what you have here is a trigger that is easy travel up until a certain point and basically it's set. The next time you squeeze a little bit more pressure, just like that. Once you go to this system, you will never go back. It is superbly accurate and really a really nice trigger feeling. You've also got a two stage uh, or double stack magazine. So you can fit 10 rounds in the same space that you'd normally fit a five round magazine in. And it's the same magazine as you find in the Seiko TRG. So it's steel box, really, really nice uh, bit of kit.